All right, finally, it has arrived. Let's talk about the penguin. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, um, you've known probably for a while that I've been pumped, absolutely pumped for this series. Um, absolutely loved the Batman and Colin Farrell's portrayal of the penguin, this version of the penguin, who's just a gangster, right? Like, he's a gangster with a club foot. He's not, you know, he doesn't actually look like a penguin. He's not Danny DeVito's version of the penguin. He's not, um, oh, uh, the, <laughs> Trainer Mickey, uh, Burgess Meredith version of the penguin, where he's like, ah, 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 ah. you know, we don't get that kind of kind of stuff here. It's it's a very, very grounded version of the character, and I love it. And dude, Colin Farrell is killing it as this version of 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 oz oh dude oz Cobb is what they're calling him now not oswald cobblepot i'm sure his name is oswald but i like how they shortened cobblepot to Cobb. give it a little bit more seriousness um as i said i, I loved the batman and i love the penguin in that even though he wasn't the main story um this this series gives us like an in-depth look of the character and like what makes him tick and um and not only that, it's not just like a prequel. That's what's great about it. It's not just a prequel telling us how he got to where we saw him in um, in the Batman. Uh, we're actually getting to see him make moves present day in that story and move up the rungs of the ladder of organized crime. Dude, it is so great. I love this first episode. They really go into kind of his insecurities, right? And uh, what made him what he is. And then when he encounters uh, the other young man that he recruits to, uh, to to kind of take under his wing, so to speak, um, you know, it's like he's, he's kind of like... He's seeing what he has in common with this youth, right? who you wouldn't think he had anything in common with, but no, they, they come from the same neighborhood. They come from nothing. They, you know, had to scrap, scrap and scrape to get by. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just, it's, it's such a good show already. I'm, I'm hoping it continues. Um, I'm hoping it continues to do what it's doing so well. Uh, Colin Farrell, as I said, killing it. I mean, just this guy, already a great actor. Like I, I already enjoyed him as an actor. Um, but I'm telling you, he has gotten better and better with age. Uh, I remember watching him in the, the recruit and thinking like he was really good. I, I really enjoyed that film, uh, with him and Al Pacino. So fucking good. If you haven't seen that, go check out the recruit. It's like early two thousands, fantastic film, uh, about the CIA and, um, how they recruit people. It, it, it's really cool. It's a really cool movie. Um, but that's not what this is about. We're here to talk about the penguin, so don't let me go down a, a, a rabbit hole or a tangent here. Uh, but his his acting skill has just evolved and and matured over time, and I think he's only gotten better as he's gotten older. And just taking on this role where he, he completely changes his appearance and has to get into this fat suit with so much makeup on every single time he's on screen. And, you know, this isn't like the Batman. This is eight episodes, basically eight hours worth of of, of filmed content that we end up getting like that's so much work to put into this character. And I feel like he's really gotten into this character. Like you don't think of Colin Farrell when you watch this portrayal of the penguin, it, it, it's everything I wanted it to be. It really is. It so far it's, it's exceeded my expectations. Um, it seems like audiences agree. Critics agree. Uh, the scores are really high on IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, and, and I just, I can't see it going downhill. I mean, I mean, I guess it could, but like starting off this strong, if, if they just stay with the, the feel, the grittiness, the darkness of it, I think it's going to continue to get better and better as we go. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, I'd love to hear what you guys think of this series. Like I said, it seems like audiences like it, but I want to know specifically from the people watching this video, let me know in the comments below what, what you're thinking of this so far. Um, another reason I like it is because it delves into one of my favorite parts of the comic. So one of my favorite 
uh, comic book storylines is a storyline in Batman called The Long Halloween. And it really, it's like early in Batman's career, like maybe the second year of him being Batman. And it's all about organized crime in Gotham. They kind of dove into it in Batman Begins a little bit in Nolan's trilogy. Um, but seeing it played out like this, where it's more in like a, a Goodfellas, you know, type of portrayal of, of like the mob and dude i love it you got the maronis you got the falconis which by the way it is falconis at least that's how i've always pronounced it um never heard it pronounced falcone until the batman uh, but that's what they're going with in this the falcones and the maronis um and, and i just love the way that oz is playing both sides to the best of his ability um I love that you got the sister Falcone uh, or the daughter Falcone getting out of the mental institution at Arkham, and she's just a scary character. Um, that the scene where she's trying to torture Oz into um, admitting that he was the one who killed her, Alberto. Oh my God! Like, and it, and it's a different take too because it, it doesn't happen quite like this in. in um, in the comics, for one, the Penguin is not the, the culprit. Um, he's not the one taking out uh, the, the organized crime families um, and killing all these different people in The Long Halloween, which, by the way, even if you're not into comics, if you want a great comic to start with, especially Batman comic, check out The Long Halloween. It's not too, you know, superhero comic booky. It really is a grounded story, and I, I think... I think you'll enjoy it. Um, but that's that's why I like the Batman so much, and that's why I'm really enjoying the Penguin so much. It's because of that grounded feel. that, that It makes you just feel like you're watching a mob movie. It doesn't feel like you're watching Batman or a DC-produced you know, comic book film. It, it feels like you're watching Goodfellas. It feels like you're watching The Sopranos. Like, I love it. I love it. It's got all my favorite elements of, of the world of Gotham and the comic book world that I love so much with all the elements of organized crime and, and gangster films that I also love so much. So, um, yeah, I'd love to get your take on it. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to chat back and forth. Um, if you want to follow me, you can follow me on, uh, X or, uh, TikTok or Instagram at real Brett Scott. Um, I'm happy to go back and forth any of those places and discuss this stuff. I absolutely love it. So if you enjoy this sort of thing where I talk entertainment and pop culture, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you do decide to stick around, then I'll see you again real soon. Thanks.